not so great I'm not feeling too great either I had an awful week last week and I'm gonna laugh through the pain <laughs> spent last week in bed then trying to make myself feel better than getting back into bed and that is exactly what I needed and I'm glad I did that for myself but today is Monday and although I'm having a lot of patience with myself and a lot of kindness with myself because I'm going through a lot right now I don't want to talk about it but I do but I'm not gonna it is currently one o'clock I'm back in bed watching some YouTube and I booked myself a ticket to go see Dune Part 2 tonight and I'm so excited. I have seen Dune Part 2 already. I saw it on Friday and it was incredible, but I want to go see it again. I'm going to go see it on my own this evening. I'm going at 20 past four. It'll be a quiet screening. I think I'm literally going to take a notebook with me and write down notes because it's like Christopher Nolan's three Batman films. First one, really good, but The Dark Knight, out of that trilogy is exceptional and when I was watching Dune part 2 I was like okay this is literally Danny Veneuve's The Dark Knight. This is what it was like for people watching Star Wars in the cinema for the first time, watching Lord of the Rings, seeing The Dark Knight, seeing Heath Ledger as the Joker. It just really felt like I'm experiencing it. I get to say in years time that I went and I'm gonna go see it again by myself today, take a little notebook, just really enjoy the whole experience and I think that's exactly what I need. But yes, I'm going through a lot right now but I have a really strong gut feeling and confidence in the fact that beautiful things come out of traumatic and difficult times so I'm just letting myself go through it and eventually I will get to that part but yeah you got to give yourself a lot of kindness I hope you guys are all doing very well I I'm really excited because this week is Oscar week I'm gonna watch a lot of movies this week I'm gonna do a lot of chilling out and have a lot of grace with myself so I'm gonna bring you guys along I'm gonna have a little bit of an Oscars party as well on Sunday so we'll get all planning and stuff together hello and welcome back to introvert diaries with your favorite film nerd this girl Last night was incredible. It was just so exciting and like thrilling to be at a movie by myself and just experience the cinema that way. It has been a very, very long time. And although it was really daunting going, it was so worth it. I will always say this, but my biggest recommendation, if you are in a rut right now, if you're in a place right now that you're not feeling motivated 
or excited about life that is okay and it is so okay to feel that way but if you want to kind of help yourself out of that headspace I would always 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 recommend doing something that's outside of your comfort zone something that you've maybe always wanted to do but for some reason you haven't so for me yesterday that was going on a solo trip to the cinema all by myself experiencing that by myself without a doubt every time I'm in a headspace where I'm feeling low I'm struggling and I'm not sure how to help myself the only thing that pulls me out of it is getting outside of my comfort zone it sounds scary but that's why it works it completely reminds you of how powerful you are how strong you can be how exciting life can also be so it was amazing yesterday was a great day for my mind but today I am gonna go to the gym I'm really nervous about it I signed up to a new gym once I started driving and I passed my test and I really like it but the gym is definitely a very intimidating place for me I'm really really looking forward to moving my body more this year I found a lot a lot of comfort in food in the last few years really but specifically I've really really noticed it in the past two months and as incredible as food is and how amazing it is and how amazing it makes my body feel sometimes my habits can make my body feel the opposite and it doesn't feel good and it's a bit of a struggle so yeah I'm gonna head to the gym grab a few little bits of food and go for a shop just kind of get motivated um, to make some yummy meals this week that fill me up, make me feel good, make me feel happy and nourished. So yeah, I've got my gym bag with me. I'm in my comfy cozy gym outfit and I'm all ready to go. Hello everyone! The nails have been done. How pretty! My nails were breaking quite a lot so I took them nice and short so that it would give them time to grow and get healthy again and I'm trying my best to not pick at them as much. I really have been picking at them the last little while but I understand why and I'm just gonna get on top of that bad little habit. But one habit I've been doing that isn't bad is drinking more water. I want to talk to you guys about Waterdrop, which are the sponsors of today's video. You guys know I absolutely love and adore them. Waterdrop make incredible micro drinks. Let me grab some for you. Here's an example of Waterdrop's micro drinks. They're these little tabs that you pop into your water. It gives them so much flavor. They're full of vitamins, minerals, goodness, while also tasting so good. It is just amazing. If you struggle to drink water and you prefer flavors, these are for you. But they don't just do micro drinks, they do incredible incredible water bottles. This is a very, very cute new one I have. It is red glass with one of their little covers on it. So adorable and so pretty. But right now, this is my absolute favorite, favorite water bottle. I have to hype this up. I have had a really, really difficult few weeks and I never realized how important this water bottle would be to me. I have needed it so much for all the tears that I have cried. I have needed water to rejuvenate and rehydrate and my water bottle has helped so, so much. I love it as well because there is no water coming out of that. It is leak proof. 
You can hear that eye still in there. It's so pretty. I take her to the gym, I take her in my car, I sleep beside her. This is my emotional support water bottle. Where I go, she goes. <laughs> Just trust me. Go try some water drop for yourself today. I know you guys will absolutely love it just as much as I do. I am going to have a bit of a chill night. I have some editing for this video to do. And I'm gonna watch the final episode of Love is Blind because I'm hooked. I'm hooked. I'm hooked every season, but this season's been so good. I love having like a little bit of kind of trashy reality TV in the background of my life sometimes and it's been a comfort, so I'm gonna watch that tonight. And then tomorrow night, I want us to watch one of the Oscar films together. It is a film I've been waiting and waiting and waiting to watch, so I'm finally gonna watch it. So I'll have a very cozy movie night tomorrow night, but for now, I've got some editing to do, so. Love ya! Back in the same spot that I left you guys yesterday. It is currently Thursday. Today ended up being a little bit of a write off for me because I got my period. And the first day of my period is always just, it's not, it's not a vibe. But I wanted to check in with you guys before I ended this vlog. Originally, I was gonna watch one of the nominated best picture movies in the Oscars that will be on this Sunday, which was The Holdovers. I am so excited to watch that film. I bought it on Apple TV, so I cannot wait to watch it. But I'm actually gonna watch that tomorrow night now instead because I've decided I'm gonna vlog this weekend, which is Oscars weekend. So I'm going to show you guys all that I'm getting up to, my little Oscars party that I'm planning. I say I'm planning an Oscars party. It's really not an Oscars party. It's just me being a little bit extra and making my family eat the food I make on Sunday. That's just about it. But I just wanted to have a bit of fun with the Oscars this year because movies are so much more than awards and there's so much I love about films other than awards, but it's always just such a fun and exciting night. And the Oscars is kind of like the end of the 2023 year of films. So it feels like the end of discussing films from last year and then we're officially into the new year of films. But yeah, I just thought I'd be a little bit extra. I've ordered some cool decorations that are very on theme and I have organized and planned out a menu and everything for the day that I'm gonna get printed tomorrow. I'm just gonna have lots of fun with it. So instead of kind of cramming that all into the end of this vlog, I'm going to vlog from tomorrow until Sunday showing you guys me just getting organized for it and getting excited for it and watching some films together. So I hope you guys are excited for that. Before I go, however, I was about to do my little current nightly routine that I'm really enjoying. And I wanted to show you guys the products that I'm using right now before I go to bed. So when I was in London recently, I every night there put on moisturizer, like massage my feet, put on my hand cream. It was just really therapeutic and it was something I really enjoyed and it was a moment of real peace and calm. So I've kind of continued doing that. The hand cream I'm absolutely loving is the Locatan this one here. It is our 20% shea butter one. It is incredible. I absolutely adore this. So it comes out and it's very, very thick. It's like almost spongy. And I used to watch like women in films, like when they'd put on hand cream before bed and be like, that's just such a film thing. I've never seen somebody or heard of somebody doing that in, in real life. But now I get it. I feel like maybe is it because I'm getting older? I don't know what it is. I'm also really loving moisturizing my feet, massaging my feet and moisturizing my legs or wherever I feel really needs it. So I've been using at the moment this Locatan body cream. It is their body balm. Then probably every second or third night I'm using 
some of the La Roche Posay Cicoplast cream. So I'll put this on if I've got a little spot or two coming up or I'll put this on over my nose. I'll use it kind of like as a mask. This is a new product but I really really like it. It is the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Skin Balm. It is so cool. So it's kind of like a moisturizer but in stick form and I just kind of glide it all over and lastly I will use any hair oil just through the ends of my hair also a lip balm which is currently in my bathroom that I need to get and of course my water drop water bottle which is sitting right there but yes I was just about to put on these products and I thought I would share that with you guys I hope this video inspired you a little bit to be extra gentle with yourself and take good care of yourself. Maybe take yourself out of your comfort zone a little bit. Just be super gentle with yourself right now. I love you all so, so much. And I'm really looking forward to spending my Oscars weekend with you all. Let me know if there's any film videos you guys want to see right now. I'm finding them just a little bit easier than vlogging. I love you all so much. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and TikTok. I post there every day. I love you all.